tragic breaking news, the mother of this Northeast High School student and football player revealing just minutes ago that her son is brain dead and will not survive. Jaquez Welch collapsed while playing a football game Friday night. Doctors discovered he had a rare condition that he was born with, and that's what caused him to collapse. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck just stepped out of Gateway Baptist Church. Sarah, a tough day for this community. Yeah, incredibly emotional for the hundreds of people that were inside of this church. They just found out that they're going to take Welch off of life support. But the best thing about all of this is that his family says his life will now save seven others because he is an organ donor. Lots of people still out here now praying and very upset about the news that they just heard that he's going to be taken off life support and is no longer having any brain functioning. Now, it wasn't until paramedics rushed out Quez Welch to the hospital on Friday night that they discovered AVM, a pre-existing and often invisible condition that impacts just one out of 100,000 people. Neurosurgeons at Bayfront Hospital tell us it's a condition that causes blood vessels to tangle and eventually rupture in a person's brain. But it's so rare that it's nearly impossible to prevent. Welch's family members tell us he never showed any signs of having the rare disease. Friends, family, and Welch's football team were hoping for a miracle that they did not get. Welch's mother just giving more than 100 friends and teammates this heartbreaking update. He has no oxygen or blood going to the brain. Right now is we're going into he was an organ donor. So that's our role we're doing now. He has found seven people to donate to. And, you know, he was not only a star athlete, but also a very, very popular student with a 4.0 GPA. And you could tell that by the packed church tonight with so many teammates, family members and friends in attendance. And there are still a lot of people out here tonight. There will be an honor walk at 10 o'clock tonight at Bayfront Hospital that people can participate in. They're going to do that honor walk, and that's when they're going to take him off life support and start donating those organs. Reporting live in St. Pete, I'm Sarah Holland back ABC Action News. Such heartbreaking news tonight, and this is unfortunately the second tragedy to strike the team just within the past week. The Northeast High School football team presented a jersey on Friday to the mother of a former team captain, Marquise Scott. The former star player was shot to death while riding his bike last Tuesday night.